How about this? Some people are finding different ways to dodge paying all that money at a gas station. They're heading to car dealerships, but probably not one you're thinking of. THV 11's Frederick Price talked with one car salesman who says the pain at the pump is fueling business for him. It's not much of a secret that the price of fuel is probably affecting your pocketbook. Everybody's feeling the, pe the pain right now. Uh, pain at the pump, as they used to say. As the cost rises, so is the number of people ditching the pump for an electric vehicle. Our leads have probably increased at least two to three hundred percent this week. Evolve Auto is the only dealership in the South that sells only EVs. Founder Colin Riggins says in just this month alone, he sold nearly 20 electric vehicles. Right now we're on par to do about 200 percent of last year's sales for month to month. Post-pandemic demand in Russia's war in Ukraine have gas prices spiking. That, he believes, is why more drivers are considering a different option. 90% of those leads are trying to trade in a large vehicle or interested in buying a second vehicle so they don't have to buy their large vehicle or drive their large vehicle. Riggin adds while he appreciates the jump in sales, he wishes it would happen under better circumstances. I hate it that it, it means that the overall economy is, is struggling. Uh, of course, it's good for business for us, but obviously I want the economy to do well. But as Arkansas looks to build out our EV charging infrastructure, he's hopeful more people would consider this as an alternative to escape from those sky high gas costs. If you've got a daily commute and right now fuel prices are hurting you, then you'll save a lot of money by these. Mm. Even before the gas price hike, Riggin says business for him was already steady. That's something he believes will continue to happen as fuel prices decline. In North Little Rock, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Arkansas drivers pay a 42.9 cents motor fuel tax and leaders in other states are calling on Congress to suspend the federal gas tax as relief.